What's up guys and welcome back to some Kingdom Hearts news. Now this video is going to be short and sweet. We finally got a North American release date for Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Finally. We've been waiting for this game for a while now. The very first trailer was released in June and people thought that the game would release around September and October, a short while after the Japanese release. Now Kingdom Hearts 13 and Kingdom Hearts Insider have been talking about updates and stuff like that when it comes to the Japanese version. The Japanese version basically received a bunch of updates and worlds. We also got a brand new character called Scald. Now I'm gonna assume that the North American version will have all these updates. Not having all these updates, I don't know, it wouldn't make sense, right? Alright, the release date has been revealed, April 7th, 2016. Now this was kind of unexpected. It's like Square Enix was, okay guys, so the game's gonna release in 3 days, enjoy. I was like, what? A lot of people kept wondering when this game would release in North America. And just to get an unexpected reveal on Kingdom Hearts Insider and other websites, is just, what? I mean, we've been waiting for this game and people have been begging. And then, oh look, the game's releasing in three days. Square Enix, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna play the heck out of this game. Apart from the release date, what else has been revealed regarding the North American release? According to Tetsuya Nomura, Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover is a story from the Fortale's perspective. Now Unchained Key is a story from the player's perspective. And according to him, Back Cover is a cinematic which is an hour long. Now I was expecting it to be a bit longer but, but I guess they'll try to fit in everything in an hour. Once we start playing Unchained Key, we won't have the chance to know what the Foretellers are up to, or what they discuss about between each other. So I guess Back Cover will kind of go over their stories. For Unchained Key, the story takes place before the Keyblade War, and it's interesting to see what's gonna unravel, and I can't wait. I mean, some people have tried the Japanese version, but I kind of waited for the English version, so I'm kind of hyped up. <laughs> oh wow, we finally got a release date. However, I don't know about the European release date. What are some aspects of the game, some of you may wonder. Now, if we go onto Kingdom Hearts Insider's website, there's a question asked to Nomura. What aspect of the game do you think will appeal to fans? What do you think fans will get hooked on? One of the biggest pillars would be the sense of playing live, which is very different for existing Kingdom Hearts series styles thus far. You may have communication and cooperation, as well as the occasional competition, but the sensation of going somewhere and realizing there are people out there and the world is moving is very unique to this particular Kingdom Hearts. Along the lines, various events are being held frequently depending on the occasion. The metal collection element is key to your battles. We also offer a ranking element, and a unique story only told in this Kingdom Hearts. So I'm sure there's some kind of element that would pique your interest. Another interesting question, do you have a special message for the fans? As mentioned in the beginning, this is the story of the start of Kingdom Hearts. In other words, there is no need for any prior knowledge of the series. So for you Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper fans out there, I think you should try this game, I mean the game is also free. So go for it. I will leave Kingdom Hearts Insider's link in the description. So there you have it folks. April 7th, 2016 is the North American release date of Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key on iOS and Android. Finally! Other than that, that's pretty much it guys. If you have any concerns, mention it in the comment section. As always, I've been Vivi and thanks for watching.